So yeah, practicality is over now. I actually do want to say a little bit more about youth work from my perspective. Um, for those of you who don't know what I've been up to here in this big glass bubble, um, I've dedicated quite a large part of the work I've done since I was elected to promoting the value of youth services and youth workers. And this comes out of the 2016 election where I stood for the assembly but also for mayor and was, was listening to young people and youth workers who came out very firmly and told me and the other candidates what they wanted from their new representatives. Um, they, uh, more than 40,000 young people signed a petition which is organised by young people working with Change.org and the Rio Ferdinand Foundation um, and they came to us and they said because of cuts decided by adults many youth workers are losing their jobs but they are as important to us as the venues and programmes being closed down and under threat. These issues affect us all whatever your age and this needs to stop. So I pledged to help. And so after becoming an assembly member, my team decided to, to get the numbers from councils, which didn't exist at that time, to demonstrate that the problem being described by young people losing their youth workers was real and serious. Uh, we did our research twice in 2017 and 2018, and we asked councils for all the cuts since 2011 for data on the locations of youth services and which ones were closed and which ones were still open in each borough. And around the room, you can see the graphics that we made and there's copies of some of the reports if you haven't seen them already here. Today isn't really about the cuts though, it's about thanking all of you because in spite of these cuts to the services, to the jobs, to the funding, despite the closure of lots of spaces, you and your colleagues have stayed focused on delivering support to our young people who need it and you've remained determined to give the young people this support even when you didn't receive the resources you need. I've heard from many youth workers that this hasn't been an easy time, but I still want to say thank you for trying, and with your continued efforts, we are seeing a change. When we started out on this journey, no one was listening at all. In 2017, the mayors turned down giving some funding to youth work when we put forward a proposal in the budget. He said, despite wishful thinking, which is a bit harsh, and then we cannot have a situation where we give Londoners the impression there's a money tree in City Hall that can replace what has been cut. This was really sad, um, but then in the same year, the government decided it was going to put £40 million back into some youth services, and we got £7 million of that put into parts of London. And then in the following year, clearly the mayor was listening, whatever he said, um, he did find some money from the business rates. He put £45 million into youth services and organisations in grants over three years. And we do really, really welcome this. Um, we're going to continue to monitor, to check the success of the Young Londoners Fund. And we're going to keep monitoring other mayoral initiatives too, including his new public health approach to violence, which should come with more widespread and early support for young people, and I hope more youth workers in that programme too. So yesterday, I attended the launch of next week's Youth Work Week um, with the National Youth Agency in Westminster. And I was struck by one thing I hadn't realised before. Because um, I've been wondering why I care so much about youth work, why this campaign came to me um, and it struck such a chord. Um, it wasn't just the great lobbying from young people, because lots of people lobby me and lots of them are very professional. Um, but yesterday, I watched the, the National Youth Agency showing their video um, which is coming out next week, talking about what youth work is. And they set out how it's one of three professions supporting young people, along with teaching and social work, and how different it is in character to both of those, and how valuable it is before that. Uh, and what they said was the difference is youth work doesn't seek concrete outcomes or to mould young people. It's the service among those three that's engaged with young people on young people's own terms. It's child and young person centred with support based around their needs and goals, not society's goals. And then I kind of, listening to this, I realised that that's the values I have, because it's the values of, of the Green Party's whole education policy, is to be child-centred, to listen to children, to, to not try and mould people into your own um, idea of what they should be. So I think that's what it is. I think that's why I support youth work so much and I care about it. It's not to save money, it's not to, to get people jobs, it's not to cut crime. Um, it does all of those things. But it's 
I care about it because it matches my values so well. I think that's, that's what it is and that's why you're all here today. So I hope that's okay to say. Um, you are a credit to our communities. You're a credit to the lives of young Londoners who would not be the same without many of you. So thank you for your service and all that you continue to do.